Welcome and thank you so much for checking out Galadon on Gaming where today we are playing War Dragons. Now I've been playing this game for a while. You guys have the opportunity right now through the sponsored link in the description to download the game for free and if it's the first time downloading it to your phone or tablet, you get a $20 value starter pack with free rubies, boosts, and egg tokens. And those eggs are absolutely critical because this game is about attacking and you do it with dragons and you get those dragons by breeding them. So right here we are looking at my base and these are my defenses that I have built out and this is the uh, angle of attack that an opposing dragon will approach my base from. So I'm obviously working on building up new and better defenses as much as possible, upgrading them when I have the resources to do so. And uh, there's my red mage tower. As we move out further and further into the forest here, you can see that I'm just still working on clearing this area of the map. I've got to clear it first before I can build structures on it. And that part I haven't even explored yet. So let's move back to the heart of my base and we'll take a look at this big volcano at the back and that is where the dragon breeding takes place. Again, that is a key. You use your dragons and you crossbreed them to create new dragons. And uh, you do that with the egg tokens and you can breed all these different dragons. You can see I've accumulated several good dragons including Fenrir who's probably my favorite right now. He is a rare. And uh, so there's also epic level dragons. I don't yet have an epic but I'm working on it. And right here is my incubator and we've got a dragon ready, an egg ready to hatch. So we'll watch the animation as we hatch this egg that's been incubating for a while. And wait for it. What is it? Looks good from a distance as it moves in. Oh, I like the looks of this one. Nice. Okay. Castor. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the game. Unlocking the new dragons, seeing the new graphics of those dragons. And then, of course, putting them into use. Now, you earn the egg tokens over here by completing these missions. So I've got a couple of active missions right now. So we're going to get right into an attack and show you how the attack mechanics work. Now, the great part about this is... You are directly controlling your dragon while attacking these bases. We've got several different bases we can choose from right now. And you get a chance to scout them out a little bit. You can see what type of defenses they have, how much loot they have available as well. And that can alter how you're going to use your dragons. Each dragon has a different set of special abilities that might be tailored for conquering a certain type of defense. But for right now, we're going with my highest level dragon. My level 9 Draco is going to move in first. He is a fire dragon and we're going to get him headed in. Now we do have boosts that we can use. We got dragon attack, dragon hit points, but we're going to save those. I'm not going to use those on my first dragon of this attack. Now also, if he doesn't make it all the way through this base, we've got two more opportunities to get all the way through the base with other dragons, but oh man, okay, so if you look on the right hand side, Lewis Carl is defending. So there's a live player actively defending, controlling some of these turrets and defenses on the other side. So that is another unique aspect of the game. And you can see here, I'm using the healing ability and wow, okay. So he went down pretty fast. Uh, that, okay. So Castor went down pretty quickly, but I've got my go-to dragon, Fenrir. He is my rare and I'm gonna go ahead and use the boosts at this point. 30% on attack, 30% on hit points. All right, let's see if Lewis Carl can hold off Fenrir as we move in. This goes pretty fast. Yep, he's controlling the turrets. We've got that one down. Got to try to get these ones down as well. And a lot of damage being poured out by this dragon. Get the tower down, and now we have a moment to uh, gather our thoughts, get ready for the next attack. This will be the final approach on his base. And it looks like he's working on invincibility. We've got a shield absorbing damage. Come on, get that one down, and you got to try to drag. All right, come on, this is tough. This is close. Oh, I'm getting so low on health. I'm in the red zone. Got a couple of structures left. One structure left. I'm almost down. Come on. Ah, oh, and just barely got the last defensive structure out of the way. The last building, and that is it. His base is down in flames, and that is victory. Man, that Fenrir dragon, that was a close one. That was clutch right there. That was a clutch victory. So we earn experience for the dragons that were participating in that attack. So Draco and Fenrir both gaining some experience, but not enough to train them up to the next level yet. And that's the idea. You want to train those dragons, increase their damage per second, their attack power, and their health. You can see we need a couple more attacks before we can upgrade either one of those guys. 
And in addition to experience for upgrades for buildings and dragons, we have resources, and that is meat. Yes, dragons, they don't eat grass, they're meat eaters. So we've got sheep farms, and then we have lumber mills for the wood, and that is gonna help us build and upgrade new defensive structures. And uh, so we'll take a look at the outskirts of my base, some more defenses that I'm working on, and maybe I'll upgrade uh, one of these archer towers right here. But the highlights of this game that I really like that make it so much different than a lot of other games I've played before the fact that you're attacking and defending in real time, I really like the fact that you can defend in real time, not just attack. And you've got control over your dragon when attacking bases. Uh, something else, when you join a guild, you can attack and defend with other players, but you can also uh, gift and receive resources. I know that's a feature in a lot of other games that players would like to see, something that's definitely available here. And then we've got these guardian statues and these guardian statues, when you boost them, they help out with uh, hit points and attack power, but you craft the boosts yourself. Back at my base here, we will take a look and see that we can craft different boosts, forge them actually. I've got a level three forge, and here is a list of all the different boosts that we can put together that do dragon, uh, tower, spell, packs, special, and you can click each menu item, see which one you wanna craft. Each one takes a certain amount of time to create. So I've got one for Dragon Attack already underway, another hour and 42 minutes until it's complete. We'll go ahead and start another one. We will forge the uh, Dragon Hit Points boost as well. Those are the two I like to have along with me, just in case I run into a tough opponent. I need it on a second or third Dragon, so we'll get that boost underway as well. So this is just what I was talking about. Here I was taking a look at Merc, my lesser worm, and right here at the top of the screen it says join attack. And what that means is we've got another player from my guild that's attacking right now, and I have the opportunity to join him and assist him in this attack. So I'm gonna go ahead and join the attack and I'll get a chance to help him out. So Lakarian is going to attack first, and you can see the bottom of the screen, I am Galadricus. That is a slight variation on Galadon, but Galadricus is my name, and so he's going to be attacking in this first round, and I get a tactical view of the base that he's attacking. I get to choose my dragon that I will be using. Now his first round is already gone, so here I am, second round, a few of the defenses are already down. It is my turn to try to get in there, see if we can't win against this base. We're gonna turn the corner, get this tower out of the way, and as we swoop into the right We've got a massive line of defenses to face. Can we get through them? You guys will just have to wait and see. Again, give War Dragons a try. The sponsored link is in the description. If you download it for the first time on your phone or tablet, you get a free $20 starter pack, and it does give you those all-important rubies, boosts, and egg tokens. Let me know what dragons you get. Join my guild if you're in there. Thanks, as always, for watching all the way to the end of this episode, and please don't forget to check out my other episodes. Like, comment, and subscribe for daily content, and I hope to see all of you back here again tomorrow for more full... Dragon Attacks.